What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, my name is Eamon and right over here is my 2023 G80 M3. Now if you guys have been following my channel, you'll know that I've done a lot to this car, only aesthetically, pretty much like carbon fiber stuff. I've done other stuff to it like window tints and some other stuff that I've talked about a million times, but mainly it was a carbon fiber kit from my good friends at Keys Motorsports. And now if you guys have been watching the channel, you'll know that I've made a video about pretty much everything that I've done on this car, literally everything that I've done on this car actually. And I even made a video recently where I did a whole montage. So if you guys just want to watch the transformation itself without listening to me talk, feel free to check out that video. I basically condensed it all into eight minutes. But if you guys want to watch the whole build series, check out the playlist so you can see everything in detail. But if you guys haven't watched any of that stuff yet, let me just catch you up really quickly. So I know I've said it a million times already, so I'll keep this quick. But on this car, we did a front grille, front inlet, a front lip, yellow DRLs actually, but that's not what I'm really here to talk about today. We did carbon fiber mirror caps. We did a carbon fiber side vent side skirts with a beautiful wing on the side we also did side splitters which has a wing to match the side skirt we did a carbon fiber diffuser and then also something you don't see too often i did a carbon fiber surround which matches the diffuser and matches the splitter so it all looks cohesive in my opinion and then last but not least we did a carbon fiber spoiler on the trunk here i think that was everything sometimes i feel like i forget some stuff but anyways guys we did a lot to it and i want to talk to you guys today about whether i think it's worth it i'm sure a lot of you guys have a g80 or maybe you're thinking about getting one or you're dreaming about getting one whatever the case is i want to tell you guys if it's worth doing this whole kit how difficult it is to install and maybe just honestly give you guys a look at what the car looks like now versus before the first thing we're going to go over is something i probably mentioned in the title and something that i'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering about and fairly so and that is the cost of this kit now i will say in terms of cost i'm not going to give you guys the exact price because prices are ever changing especially with this economy literally if gas prices go up that could cause everything to go up like these parts or even just our groceries so what i'll do instead is leave everything linked down in the description below that way you guys can go to the keys motorsports website and check out the prices individually and you guys can get the latest most accurate price because although i'm making this video today if you're watching this video like two, three, four years down the line, if G80s go down and you got one used, I can almost guarantee you that the prices have changed. So whatever I say in this video is gonna be outdated soon. So just go check out those links down in the description below. But with that in mind, let me just say guys, this kit is not cheap. Unfortunately, carbon fiber is not an inexpensive thing to do. And some of these pieces are very large and very intricate. Some of the larger pieces being like the side skirts right over here, obviously spanning the whole length of the car. And then some of the more intricate pieces can be stuff like this front grille, especially the CSL style one, and even like the front lip. I mean, pretty much everything is a little more complicated. Some of the more simpler pieces and honestly the cheaper pieces are things like the spoiler on the rear, and then something I just walked by is this piece over here, obviously much smaller and much simpler. So yes, guys, this is an expensive kit. Whether you look at it as individual pieces or the kit entirely, but when it comes to these parts, it's nothing new, it's nothing shocking. If you're getting a G80 M3, you probably wanna mod it, and you probably wanna do stuff to it, and you're probably not expecting things to be cheap. I mean, this car behind me, MSRP was $97,000. Even if you guys get these cars used, they're not going to be cheap. It's not like you're getting a Honda Civic. Can't really expect cheap parts, if that makes sense. Now, I'm not saying an expensive car justifies expensive parts, but I'm just saying the parts tend to be more expensive because the car is a little more intricate. Pieces are bigger, like a front lip on a Honda Civic. Back in my Civic days, at least, they're much simpler. Some of them, honestly, I saw people even using like garage pieces, like the, the little trims on garages as front lips on Civics. However, the parts on this car are definitely a lot more intricate, a lot more complicated, and honestly, they look a lot cooler. So the next thing we're gonna talk about kind of has to do with price, and that's maybe saving money. Uh, and that has to do with installation, guys. So if you've been watching my videos or any of my videos, you'll know that I work on my car for the most part and I've done all this stuff on the G80 myself. Literally no one else has done anything on this G80. Now I will say a lot of these parts were not that bad to install, but we will get into that in a second. But before I even get into the difficulty level of installing this stuff, let me just add this disclaimer, guys. I am by no means a professional mechanic. I do all this stuff just watching YouTube videos myself or reading forums or just kind of like reverse engineering it. So. I'm not a professional mechanic. In my opinion, if I could do this, I think you guys can too. Again, I'm not professionally trained, but that's just my opinion. Now with that in mind, let me just tell you how difficult I think it was to install this kit because some pieces were a lot easier than others. So we're gonna start off with some of the easier things to do and the easiest one by far is this little side vent 
right here. Now, I'm not gonna get into super detail on how to install all this stuff because if I do in this video, this video is gonna end up being super long. But if you guys want a better idea of how to install any of these things, check out my playlist on the G80 build or go to the Keys Motorsports channel because they have super detailed videos on how to install all of this. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna give you guys a high level. So this one here, you literally just stick it on. It's as simple as that. You don't have to remove the old piece. You just stick this one on top of it. So can't get any easier than that in my opinion. Some other easy pieces to install was the side skirts, just some clips on the bottom and the top. Really nothing too hard. The mirror cap was not too bad. A little risky because you do have to take off this glass. And if you guys mess that up, that can be a big oopsies. Like if you crack this, you're gonna have to get another one and these things are not cheap, especially if you want an OEM BMW one, which you probably should get. But otherwise, the rest of this installation wasn't too bad. Now we're making our way to the rear over here. The diffuser and the splitters and the surround, this also was not that bad. There's just some push clips on the bottom, similar to the side skirts, and then you just pull it out via just, you know, normal clips on the top pieces. It's really not that bad, but you have to be super careful, especially when you're taking off the diffuser surround because personally guys, unfortunately, I broke one of the clips. So you just have to be careful. It's not that big of a deal, but still I did end up breaking something. So, you know, it is what it is, but just be careful if you guys are doing this yourself. But yeah, otherwise it's really not that bad. Like nothing really mechanical in your way. The next thing I want to talk about is the spoiler because you guys would think this would be super easy. It's just 3M tape holding it on, on the top over here because the OEM spoiler did have a whole bunch of adhesive tape holding it on. It wasn't hard getting the spoiler off, but the annoying part was getting all the adhesive off. So I had to use like some type of drill eraser it's a long story but point is getting the old one off was a bit of a pain now i don't know if every g80 comes with an oem spoiler like mine did if yours doesn't this is going to be super easy because you just have to stick this one on so it's going to be almost as easy as this little side piece over here but if yours has an oem spoiler just keep in mind taking off the oem one is a huge pain in the butt. So honestly guys, those pieces, even if you're a noob on working on your car, I think you can do it. Just take your time, watch the keys video, which is a lot more detailed than mine. But with that said though, that was all those other pieces. I haven't talked about the front guys. And there's a reason for that. The front pieces over here are a lot more difficult in my opinion. Well, actually I should clarify not all the front pieces because the little gills over here, which I don't think I mentioned in the beginning of the video, but anyways, the gills over here are super easy. You basically just stick them on. The hardest part about them is just like lining it up and you know, making sure you don't mess it up on your first try. But otherwise it is literally super easy. Just sticks on. Just follow what they say, measure twice, cut once, if you guys know what I mean. Also the front lip wasn't that bad either. It's definitely not the easiest front lip that I've ever installed on a car, but overall, it's really not that bad. Again, just make sure you line it up correctly. Add some extra adhesive between that center piece and the side pieces. That's something I didn't mention in my original video, but doing that is gonna definitely help with installing it and just help the overall stability of the front lip. But now the pieces that are difficult, at least in my opinion, is the front grill and the front inlets right over here. And the reason for that guys is to install these, you have to take off the front bumper, which is not difficult, but now you're talking about taking off a bumper on the car and hopefully getting it back on the car with the proper spacing and all that and just making sure you don't break anything on it. And then not only that, once you take the front bumper off to access the grills and the inlets, there is a whole bunch of stuff blocking your way like sensors wires other plastic pieces they have to take off even after you take off the bumper so it's definitely not as easy as some older bmws when you take off the bumper you think like you can easily access everything unfortunately that is not the case now is it impossible to do obviously not i got it done and like i said before guys if i can do it i think you can as well but just keep in mind it's not as easy as the other parts on this car it's definitely a lot more involved it took me the longest to do just go watch the video that I made about it. But in the end, I think it was actually one of the most impactful things that I did on this car. And it made, I think the biggest transformation, at least for me personally. But again, in terms of installation, these pieces were definitely the hardest to install in my opinion. So hopefully that gives you guys a general idea of how difficult it is to install this kit or at least each individual piece. Now I will say, if you guys are thinking about getting this, it is obviously expensive, just the pieces themselves. So if you guys can install it yourself and save some money, I would highly recommend it. I think it's definitely doable if you guys have the right tools. And if you guys have some type of know-how with like working on cars or houses, you know, just like knowing how to work tools and stuff like that. Again, some pieces I think an absolute noob can do, like the side piece, but the front grill, it's not the easiest. So just, you know, keep that in mind. All right, guys, with that out of the way, Let's get into the last thing. And that is just the overall looks. And then after that, I'll tell you guys if I think it's worth it 
You can probably guess where I'm going with that, but let me just talk about the looks. I'll throw a whole bunch of B-roll so you guys can see things in detail, but just overall, guys, I think this kit completely transformed the car. From the front end, it looks so much more aggressive. Getting rid of that stock grille, I think, was a massive win. This side looks a little meaner, although the mirror caps didn't make a huge difference because they are the M style, they're just carbon. There's other things on the side of the car, especially like the wings on the side skirts, the side splitters. I think overall, it just makes the car look a lot more aggressive and a lot less like a just, you know, simple sedan. Now it looks like a it looks like a sports car to me. The rear also looks a lot more aggressive. Again, continuing that like wing on the side splitters. And then the diffuser as well. This diffuser doesn't look too much different than the OEM one other than it being carbon fiber, but it does have that little split down the center. So the original one doesn't, this one does. So it kind of gives it a little bit of added aggression. And again, it being carbon, I think looks really cool. The spoiler on the back definitely did a good job of making the car look a lot more aggressive. It sits on the edge of the trunk as opposed to the OEM one which sat on top of the trunk. So it kind of gives the trunk a more elongated, sort of like duckbill style look. But yeah, honestly one of my favorite mods on the car. But overall guys, the car looks completely transformed. It looks so much more aggressive. This is even on a black car, which I think things tend to be a little more subdued on. If you guys have a bright colored car, having all these mods on it, I think would look absolutely wild. Although again, I think the trunk looks really good. I think another place that I think the car looks way better is the front. Like this thing just looks so much more menacing. It looks so much more aggressive. And again, guys, I said it when I was circling the car, but I'll say it again. When I first bought this car, although it did look aggressive, obviously it's an M3, you get some like, you know, wider hips, wider wheels. The car looked a little like soft and like bubbly in my opinion. It looked a little like, you know, it's kind of looked like a normal sedan, I don't know. It looked better, I'm not trying to like insult the M3, but it didn't look as aggressive as I think it should have. Now something I should say is some of these pieces you can get if you get the car with the carbon kit straight out of the factory, but not all of them. So you can get some things like the carbon inlets and maybe like a spoiler, diffuser, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you wouldn't get like this front lip the grill. So if you're thinking, well, it's because your car didn't have the carbon kit from the dealership, you are right, but not entirely. This kit still makes it look a lot more aggressive. All right, so now to the conclusion. Do I think it's worth it? Yes, 1000%. I absolutely think that this kit is worth it on a G80 or G82 M4. Again, I don't want to be stupid and ignore the fact that it is an expensive kit. But again, in terms of the price of the car, it's really not that bad. And personally, I think it also elevated the car to new heights. When I first got this car, I liked it. I mean, I loved it. But after putting this kit on, I'm just like obsessed with it. I look at it just in my driveway. I park and I can't like help but just turn around and look at it as I walk away. It's so funny too, because when I first got the car, I feel like it never really got that much attention. Obviously, it's a black M3, like it's just a sedan. Maybe if it was an M4, like it being a coupe, but I feel like it never really got intention. Now I'm not saying I got the car for that reason, but it's just something that I noticed. However, after installing this kit, I literally noticed people stopping to take pictures of the car. I actually had like a maybe 13 or 14 year old kid run up to the car at an intersection when I was stopped at a red light and start taking pictures of it. Now again, I'm not saying I buy this car, that you should buy this car for the attention or even do this kit for the attention, but it is cool to see just like how other people react and how other people can appreciate this car because that's something I love to do is share my passion with other people, hence my YouTube channel and all that type of stuff. So for me personally, guys, I think this absolutely transformed the car and made the car just go to the absolute next level. I love it that much more. I think it just looks like an absolute beast. It looks like a super sedan, which I love. I kept on saying in previous videos that this is all part of phase one and that is still true, guys. After this, we're gonna focus on like performance stuff on the car, hence why I wanna get all these like aesthetic cosmetic videos out of the way. But after that, we're gonna go into phase two and phase two is where, in my opinion, this car is gonna really start to look like a super sedan. I don't wanna give too much away. I'm really hyped and I wanna just, you know, give it all away. So just stay tuned, guys. If you guys have a G80 or thinking about getting one, I would highly recommend doing each and every one of these mods. Now, are there some that you can probably do without, like maybe like the little side thing or the side mirror caps? Yeah, but I think at least get the bigger pieces, the grill, the lip, and all those. But anyways, guys, hopefully this video helps you out. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the transformation on the G80 M3 just as much as I have because it's been an absolute blast working on this car. It's such a cool car. And you know, to jump from the cars that I've had before, which are still amazing cars, now this car, I'm super grateful, super blessed. And honestly, I couldn't have done it with the help from Keys Motorsports. So huge shout out and thank you to them. Again, all this stuff will be linked down in the description below. So if you guys want any of it, go check out the links. 
But anyways, with that said, this video is pretty much done. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.